um, being um, in, actually I'm just being super strong because I mean I lost my mom and my dad in a space of two years you know right and um, for me that's I, I don't I, I don't know about uh, other people but big, big impact in yeah because yeah. but the connection I have with my parents is like it's mm -hmm. so crazy mm -hmm. and um, we went through a lot together but mm -hmm. It's so unfortunate for me that I lost them at the peak of my career, you know, yeah. so like mm -hmm. to me that actually got to me a lot and it's been affecting me mentally. I'm just being super strong about everything because I mean, it's not actually easy to I know, I know. You, It seems that you didn't really take a break in your career, like you continue to push even though like... I mean, because I have happened. responsibilities to take care of, you know. But how, how challenging was that for you mentally? Didn't you just want to be like, ah, oh, I'm done? I mean, okay. like some, some, some days I feel like, you know, just, I don't know. Yeah. Just giving up. Some days are, some days are bad, I mean. yeah. So yeah. how do you keep going now? Is it maybe your immediate family? You have a beautiful son. <laughs> Thank you very much. Does that much. help to inspire you every day? I mean, that's, I that's, that's my number one inspiration right now. You, you, you guys, I don't know, you're making some faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quite funny, He's I like that. so cute. He's like a twin. How old is he now? Um, Three. Three and a half. Wow, yeah. time goes so far. All right, let's focus on the music now, because that's what people want to hear about, what's going down with that. Um, so what's the direction now for you um, in the 2018? Where, where are you going to go? Um, majorly, it's just to be genuinely happy. Mm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> make I, I, good I, music. Yeah? Yeah, make good music. Um, support everyone around me as usual. Yeah. And um, um, this year, we're taking it back to a hotel. Right. Holic, yeah, my concert that we do yearly every December. And I all thought Echo Hotel said they didn't want to come again because you have too much crowd. No, it's not me. It can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be me. <laughs> it cannot be I me. I heard that on that day is banned from the Echo Hotel. It cannot be me. That last time they it had to fix the whole no, 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 concert no, no. venue was destroyed. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. a very good boy. Are you going to a bigger venue? Is it? That's what they said. No, 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 no. I, I actually um took um Olik um to the to the stadium last year because um yeah. we had um lots of um what's it called the regular yeah. the regular customers. Yeah. yeah. They've been complaining for the past three four years. And you've not brought it to them. No, no, not just that. About about um the space and all that. Yeah. Like uh, like the place is not always. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No conducive enough for everybody and all that. So we had to like. <coughs> Take it to the mainland, to the stadium right. where we have enough space for everybody to yeah. come in and um, give them a cheaper rate, right. almost for free, you know. So, so everybody could just, you know, come and come have and fun. And fun yeah. 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 All right, no problem. But uh, at least, what, what was the reaction for that show in December? Were they happy? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. They okay. were. They were really happy. So this time around, you're going to be back at the coast. So uh, how's that yeah. going to go? Um, back to business. Back to basic. Back to doing it on a bigger scale than um bringing something extra this time around, you know, because um, anything worth doing is worth doing well, you know, so. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, we can't wait, I'm sure it's gonna be good. But isn't that gonna uh, keep those guys out, you know, the, the, the pricing of the Echo Hotel? Um, but last, be... last now, but you know, you just have to, <laughs> you just have to do your team, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to do your team regardless of um, how Because you look at some regular, other regular ticket will be like between five and 10,000 for Echo Hotel, right? I mean, boss man, man. Yeah. For now, for, for now, for now, as we speak, I don't know of any other place better than a hotel to do a All right, I reasonable guess. show. But you're gonna control reasonable the crowd. Concept, you're, yeah. gonna have, you're gonna be controlling. I when when the place when you sold out, yeah. and then you shot, you don't sell anymore. We always that was do that. Problem last we time, always right? we always do that though. But that was a problem last time, wasn't it? No. Okay. Not my show. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, you said um, Echo Hotel's the best, and I think in ter in certain terms you're right. But then, don't you have this problem where everyone that's in the front on tables so they don't really get up and like groove your music? <laughs> I mean, actually, at your show they try. I actually see people move yeah. at your show. But other people should just sit there and look like a dead pig. I know, um, it's it, it's crazy, but um, no matter how much we try to like um, be advanced and um, try to um, do the old Western thing, Western mm. culture, and all yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> we have to we have to um, keep in mind that our culture is our culture. All right. So, <laughs> got a question for you. Um, there was uh, when you were on tour. What was the best place that you? I mean, when which city gave you the best? vibe I mean, from the crowd in terms of which one did you enjoy the most um from my europe top yeah, or europe, uh, europe and america uh, um europe and america 
New York was mad. Mm -hmm. New York was mad than um, 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 in Europe. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Like almost all these cities were were dope though. Okay. They were out the chain. There was a clip of you being uh, um, accosted by a young lady. Saying she came a long way and you only you were on stage for like fifteen minutes or something. Yes, was that in the US? Europe? That was in Europe. I, think. Uh, I think that was in Europe. Yeah, it was in Europe. Uh, the, yeah. the young the lady was very angry with you, mm. uh, but you didn't seem to react. You didn't seem to say anything. You didn't respond you to it. To punch her. No, I mean, respond. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, it I'm trying to be a gentleman. Like no, he, he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't respond. To, she was she was very angry. Yeah. Since she came, she she you know went by a train or by road mm. from one city to the other one to see you. And then you on stage for like fifteen minutes or something like that. That's, and then she like she drove like you, she, you didn't get her money's worth. And I don't. But I, you didn't respond to it then. So I mean, what do you have to say about it? I mean, cause some man, she just did paparazzi level now. All those ones now, political blah. You okay. don't understand. <laughs> so are you saying you think she made it up just to trend on social media? I mean, no matter we now standard now, cause she's a blogger, you know. Okay. Oh, she's a blogger. Uh huh. So oh, did wow. you did okay. you spend Are you popping? She got pop now, you, you know. <laughs> out now with all the songs I have. Okay. With all the songs I have. Come on, so it's how, not possible. Okay, how long were you on stage for? My standard I do um for the five minutes on stage. Okay. If it's not my concert. Okay. But if it's my concert I do more than for the five minutes on stage. So Alright, cool. When certain things happen like this, like negative publicity, I mean, what do you normally do? Because I don't I don't always see you address it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You address it. <laughs> Maybe your manager, <coughs> it, how does it work? Uh, most times, I um I try my best possible not to pay attention to all this negative energy and negative vibes. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, man, there's no amount amount of um publicity I want to do or whatnot that that's gonna um speak better for me than my integrity. You know, cause mm -hmm. um people know me, people I've worked with, um, all my clients and all that, they know how I operate and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's not gonna stop me from getting my shows. That's not gonna stop my fans from coming to my shows, cause they know me so well. So there's no point in trying to, you know. I right, got a few questions here. Somebody's saying that uh, your songs are the dirtiest songs on the radio. Uh, how now? I don't know. It's I mean, from, it's, it's from at Dice of Truth. He said, "Why have you made the dirtiest songs by any Nigerian artist?" <laughs> And your songs are getting banned. Angry. They're getting banned every year, every week. I know, man. Cause I mean, when you say dirty, it depends on um, it depends on um, <clears throat> the angle you're speaking from. Okay, sex and drugs. People mm. say the lyrics are full of sex and drugs. Um, if the, I mean it's cool if people don't want me to address issues and all that. It's mm. cool, but if you want a real one around, then you shouldn't tell me I'm I'm doing dirty stuff, you know. Cause I mean, everything I'm talking about is not as if I'm saying do this. I'm saying I'm. Talking, of, I'm talking about what's happening out there, and I'm letting people know. Um, that, that one. That, uh, sorry, the one where you're um, talking about. Was that one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Science yeah. students, yeah, of course. Okay, sorry. Um, and I think that did get banned, didn't it? Yeah. On radio. Mm -hmm. Did it? Yeah. Oh, for real? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but then at least I know they had issues with the um mm. with the video because of um display of um yeah so yeah yeah exactly yeah. But then I think one interesting thing was with songs like that it causes like it, it starts a conversation. So I remember there's been documentaries on it. There's been more research research on it. People have gone out to these places <laughs> around you know Lagos, Nigeria. Um, so do you see it more as your music is like social commentary like but as you said before you're trying to get people to open their eyes and see what's going on mm -hmm. Well, some people just say just making party music like do you really think I mean, it's or is it both? I mean I mean standard like there's there are so so many uh Okay now let me break it down for you uh, before I started the old shaku shaku vibe and all I went to the mainland mm -hmm. to see my, my 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 goons in the hood. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent time with them. Um, we went to the club. So you still do that? Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. We went to the club. I listened to to songs in the club, and I heard um, the new song. So, I felt like, okay, you know what, um, I have people in the hood, I have family, I have friends, I have relations and all that in the hood, so I thought about um, picking up that sound, taking it to the mainstream market, and um, at the same time, 
try yeah. to pass the message across to the to mm. the guys doing that sound mm. to let them know that yo guys you guys can actually do the sound in mm. a very good way without mm. you get me so um yeah. that's the major reason why i did science student and i was actually emphasizing on like is that you i thought your mom sent you to Harvard mm. university mm. how come you you know mm-hmm. yeah how come you doing all this stuff mm-hmm. you know like that's just it's just basically about trying to let people understand yeah. that see people are actually doing so many crazy things out here and um, most parents if you don't even tell them they don't know what their kids are mixing up together you know That's they just see that with red cups and all mm-hmm. that like a lot in there you think oh they're drinking and nah, 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 nah. no mm-hmm. they're mixing something else <laughs> do you because you're so big now do you feel like you have this responsibility on your shoulders you i mean like, i'm a father so i have to, have to talk about this I'm a father, I have to, I have right. no choice. Somebody was saying they wanted more songs like Mellow Mellow, have you? Yeah. Someone was saying that, yes. that they want you to be... Uh, what um, it, yeah. It's from King underscore Blaze again. He says, we know you to be very, very, very versatile. Mm. Inspirational songs like Mellow Mellow sometimes seem to be that We want that Mellow Mellow vibe, I think. Oh, Mellow Mellow vibe. There can never be another Mellow Mellow anyways. Mm. I mean, there mm. can never be another any Drew. There can never be an, another Drew, it's okay. All I can do is just try my best possible to um, improve better, better. on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your favorite Olavide song? song? Why? Why is that? Um, because I think that's like it's very classy and timeless at the same time. Okay. And still in the genius at the same time, you know. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we have another question from at Mister Underscore Dennis. Um, we don't hear of any baby mama stunts when it comes to Olamide. The guy is super street white. That's a statement, not a question. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, fans! Okay. It sounds like a politician. <laughs> no, 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 no. Speaking of politics, uh, I mean, they, um, um, we I think we, did we speak about it some time ago when, when last time you were here? But a lot of um, people were angry at one point with the musicians, mm. saying they're not they're not saying enough uh, about corrupt politicians and corrupt uh, uh, government officials around the country, mm. and. Uh, uh, musicians are very happy to collect the money, you know, and to mingle and to hang out with politicians, but they're not doing enough uh, to. to uh, you can't be street uh, hanging out with people in the street who are suffering, and then you're going to mingle with politicians and collecting the money. So, do you do you feel that you should uh, you should say something? You should be talking about it more. Oh man, standard man. If you follow me on Twitter, you see that. I was going to say you think like, about like things. standard, like on yeah. steady. Mm-hmm. I'm always talking about it. Yeah. Do you talk to when you see a governor or senator that they're inviting you to come? I mean, trust me, and if you, perform if you, at your daughter's wedding, if you know, uh, if you do know, you talk to them about that when you collect <coughs> the check. I mean, if you know anyone mm-hmm. that is like um, into politics that you know that I'm kind of close to, right? Whenever you see them, ask them if I don't talk about all these things. If okay. I don't talk about the economy, the people, the you know, the growth of the economy and all that, mm-hmm. the growth of the company, ask them. Okay, so you do say that. All the time. All right, nice one. Well, we'll keep it up. Okay, we're well, gonna look um, forward to it. Yeah. Yes, I was gonna say. Um, so going back to what the gentleman just said now about your baby mama, I noticed that you don't really speak about your personal life, and your personal life is not really something that it's like it's not all in the streets. We don't know about it. Like, do you have to work extra hard to keep stuff to yourself? Because there's some artists who have businesses every year. But it's not the same. Like who, who, who are these people? You know who I'm talking about. Where's your David? Where's your David? But that's not the same with you. So how do you um, balance it out? Yeah. I mean, um, it's all about knowing what. It's all about knowing where to make music. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to do my thing. You know. So it's not. It's not about my family. It's about me. It's about me and the people. You know. So. Um, and whatever is supposed to be personal, it's meant to be personal. So okay. <laughs> there's like no that. fun like in like So one more question. So, I mean, so are you saying that like you don't get tempted? So I mean, I'm just imagining you have like millions of followers on Instagram. So maybe like on a normal day, you just like open your DMs and you, like girls send you like uh, nude pictures. It's not about being tempted. It's about what you want at the end of the day. See, I don't feel like doing it. Okay. Yeah. Are we gonna? See December, <laughs> we're just there. New album. You, you got you, you got to have some new tracks for, this, for the concert in December. Of course, uh-huh. we're putting out um, lots of singles out before the year runs out. So. Any collaborations? Any? any? Um, for now, probably something from myself and Techno. Okay. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Yeah. You guys haven't done anything together before at all. Oh, mm-hmm. that should be good. We we'll look forward to that. We we'll look forward to that. What any, about this? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the way Afro pop or Afrobeat, everyone's calling it these days. The way it's been exported out. I mean. 
just recently, you know, Ciara featured techno, we had like Skeptron, yeah. Wizkid, all these different things going on. Yeah. Um, what's your take on it? Is that something? What, I mean, at the end of the day, man, all you can do is just put in that work, and um, um, it's left, it's left for the people um out there to discover, um your sound to travel. Because I mean, there's no point in doing go going the extra miles if um <clears throat> at the end of the day there's nothing I'm gonna bring back home, you know? All right. Because because like like <laughs> we all know, we all know, we all know <laughs> there's nothing to bring back home. All right. Let's wrap it honest. up. Wrap yeah. it up, my man. Uh, I want to say thanks for coming through. Uh, so, any words you want to say out there? Any message to fans? family and friends out there um i just want to say big up to all the <laughs> on the road doing shows and all i really appreciate you guys god bless you all, all right any messages for your haters <laughs> i love you <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully you send us some uh, some tickets to give away to listeners i uh, definitely time for december definitely you know those who can those of us who can't afford it Thanks for having me. They go to ten thousand naira regular. Oh shit! You see me on the, I mean the, the, in the popular side. Oh shit! <laughs> Bit <laughs> FM way updates. <laughs> but in the building. All right, tell us about this new song, man. Um, this new song was produced by um, Killer Tunes, mm -hmm. aka Shabalistica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, DJ Spinol actually linked us up, and um, I mean shout out to DJ Spinol for linking us up. Shout out to Killer Tunes for the Mad Beats as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Musik Bano is um, about um, me being hot, on fire. Oshama, mm. hot, hot, bizo, oshama, bizo, see how they go now. So what does it mean that you've caught fire? <laughs> I mean, see how they hot now. You know, now, stop. I know they hot, as they seem like this, I know hot. Why do you feel like this, you know what I mean? Uh, no, no, no. See, you know, you know it depends. It depends on. Uh, uh, it depends on where you are coming from, the angle you're coming okay, from. Because oh, you know um, on the streets it's a slang, yeah. okay, okay. like I'm on fire. Okay. But um, the real Yoruba, it is. I caught fire. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, after the See, after I'm the interview, you can after the show you can give Maria a Yoruba lesson. <laughs> 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 I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> you, your Yoruba passport has been withdrawn. <laughs> All right, brand spanking new. Enjoy it, Bado.